Our fantastic journey begins with Reed Richards, a super smart scientist, and his friend Ben Grimm, an astronaut. They go to visit Victor Von Doom. Victor is Reed's old MIT classmate and the CEO of Von Doom Industries. Reed asks Victor to fund the space expedition to observe some cosmic clouds passing by Earth. Doom agrees despite Reed being bankrupt, but only in exchange for control over the experiment and a share of the majority of the profits from this. Doom then introduces Reed to his girlfriend, who also happens to be Reed's ex-girlfriend, Sue Storm. Reed also ropes in Sue's brother, much to Ben's dismay. The group then head to the space station to observe the clouds, but it turns out that Reed had miscalculated the clouds appearance, and they are appearing sooner than we expected. Ben was outside on a spacewalk to collect the samples, and then the team, except for Doom, tried to save Ben, but Ben gets the full blast of the radiation from the wave. Meanwhile, everyone else gets a limited amount of exposure. They then wake up back on Earth, and everyone seems fine for now, but slowly, one by one, everyone attains superpowers. First, we see Sue Storm go invisible as she's mad at Reed. Reed then finds out he has the ability of super flexibility and stretchiness, as he catches a cop that falls. We then see See that Johnny has the ability to go on fire and Ben has disappeared. He's gone to find his wife and she sees a rock-like creature and she runs away in fear. Meanwhile, Doom has got a scar on his face whilst he gets grilled by the stockholders of his company and gets kicked out of his company. But you can't do this to me. I started this company. A depressed Ben then heads to Brooklyn Bridge where he catches a man about to jump off the bridge and he tries to talk him out of it. The man panics and this ends up causing a traffic pileup and ends up in pure chaos. But don't worry, our heroes are here to save the day and they team up and they save the fire truck and the people of New York love them and the media officially names them the Fantastic Four. Say that again? They then officially move into the Baxter building where we get the cameo of the GOAT himself, Stan Lee. Reed then offers to study the abilities of the crew and vows to return Ben back to normal. Doom then offers help to the team but blames Reed for everything and he's also jealous that his life is going upside down whilst everyone else is getting better. Reed tells the group that he will make a machine to recreate the storm in hopes of reversing the process but it might also greatly amplify their powers as well. We then see the team slowly get to grips with their powers as Reed studies them. He realises the spacesuits that they are wearing actually transformed with them meaning that whenever they use their powers, the suit should adjust with them. We also see the team get their individual superhero names, courtesy of Johnny. Reed is now Mr. Fantastic, Sue is now Invisible Girl, Johnny is the Human Torch and Ben is, well, the thing. Doom at this point is slowly becoming metal and he manipulates and shows Ben that Reed wishes not to change Ben and this causes an argument between the two and the two fight before Ben leaves. Reed has also started to kind of date Sue again as well. Ben is then returned back to his human form by Doom whilst Doom gets even stronger and becomes completely made out of metal and he captures Reed. Doom has now officially become Doctor Doom and he wears his iconic mask whilst torturing Reed. He then fires a heat seeking missile at Johnny who barely dodges it. Meanwhile Ben asks for Sue to fire up the machine again so that he can become the thing once again and save his best friend. Sue then arrives to fight Doom but is no match for him. Ben then arrives and drops his catchphrase. It's clobbering time. Ah, oh, chills. Literal chills. Before the fight spills onto the streets. Johnny swirls around Doom in an attempt to heat him up while Sue creates a force or trapping the heat within. And then Reed and Ben douse Doom in water, inducing a thermal shock and he gets frozen in place. We then see that the team have come to accept who they are and Ben has started dating a blind artist named Alicia and Reed proposes to Sue, who gladly accepts. Meanwhile, Doom gets transported to Latveria. Two years later after the events of the first film, we see that Reed and Sue are preparing to get married for the fourth time since their weddings keep getting called off. But we see a mysterious silver object fall into the Earth's atmosphere and it causes severe blackouts all over the country. The US government approaches Reed and asks him to build a sensor to track the movements of this mysterious object, but Reed declines as he has a wedding to prepare for, but he is secretly working on this. Come the day of the wedding and as they are about to get married the sensor goes off. It turns out that the mysterious object has destroyed the sensor and all calamity ensues, leading to the Fantastic Four to save the crowd. We also get the cameo of Stan Lee. Johnny then heads after the object only to find out that the object is a humanoid alien known as the Silver Surfer. The two fight leading to Johnny to crash land onto land. Sue then arrives to comfort Johnny, but the second she touches him, the powers swap and Johnny becomes invisible while Sue sets a light and starts flying. They then touch again and they go back to normal. Reed then promises to Sue that once this whole surfer saga blows over, they can retire from the superhero life and live a normal life. Reed examines Johnny and finds out that the surfer had sent Johnny's molecules into a constant state of flux, allowing him to switch powers whenever he touches someone. Reed then traces the surfer and finds out that whenever the surfer visited a planet, a few days later that planet would get destroyed. As the surfer travels 
travels along Earth, it brings him to Latveria, where the cosmic energy from the Surfer's board frees Doctor Doom. Doom then goes to meet the Surfer and offers a team up, but the Surfer refuses and attacks Doom. However, the blast from the Surfer heals his body, reversing the damages caused from before. Doom uses this to leverage his way into helping the Fantastic Four work with Doom, much to their dismay. They realize that the Surfboard is a source of the Surfer's powers, and they plan to remove it from it. They set up a pulse generator to separate the board and the Surfer, but whilst doing this, the Surfer confronts Sue. She questions him as to why he's and he reveals that he's merely just a servant to the destroyer of worlds and he doesn't want to do this. The surfer then protects Sue from one of the missiles launched by the military but he ends up getting distracted and the pulse separates him and his board. The military have now imprisoned the surfer and locked away the fantastic for allowing them not to talk to him. The government then tortures the surfer in an attempt to gain information from him but he doesn't talk. Sue then uses her powers to sneak in and she talks to him. He reveals that his name is Norris Rad and he serves the destroyer of planets Galactus. 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 He also reveals that the board is actually a beacon that sends a signal to Galactus to arrive and even now it's still sending signals to him. He also says that Sue reminds him of his girlfriend which is why he saved her from before. Dr. Doom then steals the board from the compound and becomes super powerful and basically disintegrates all of the soldiers. Fantastic Four then rescue the surfer and take him away in the Fantastic Car to pursue Doom. This then leads to them confronting him in Shanghai. In the midst of the battle Sue then gets impaled and since the surfer has no powers he can't really help. Johnny then takes the powers of all four to fight Doom in this epic fight where we see him use all of the abilities in unison. Sue then sadly dies, but Johnny manages to knock Doom off the board with the help of Ben in a crane. But despite this kind of good news, Galactus has arrived and is ready to devour the earth, but he's also a cloud. The surfer regains control of the board and revives Sue before vowing to defend the earth against Galactus and he goes to fight him. The fight ends with a massive explosion and are both seemingly dead. Sue and Reed finally end up getting married in Japan without any distractions and Sue and Reed decide not to leave behind the superhero life. The post credit scene then shows surfer's lifeless body floating through space before his eyes suddenly open. Subscribe and comment below your favourite part of the movies.